I happened to be in the Philippines shortly after the crime had been committed and I ended up meeting several of the key players involved and that's how I started making this film. We ended up filming for about close to three years, I would say two and a half, three years. Um, and in fact, we just finished this film in April of 2018, so it actually ends fairly recently. The Visiting Forces Agreement, as I understand it, is a bilateral agreement between the United States and the Philippines. And it basically defines what the relationship would be if a U.S. serviceman was accused of a crime in the Philippines. Um, and most people don't know about it, but um, it only came into light recently when this was challenged uh, through the case and story of Jennifer Laude. I think the one thing to understand about the Visiting Forces Agreement is it's vague, and I think it's intentionally vague. So for instance, it describes what would happen if a uh, member of the military or U.S. serviceman is accused of a crime. However, from my understanding, it actually doesn't have anything defined in terms of what would happen if someone was convicted of a crime. So um, I think there's a lot of room probably to have some kind of uh, uh, more defined terms and probably some kind of transparency so we understand what exactly um, the Visiting Forces Agreement is intended to do, but also who oversees it. We've been screening this film um, quite a lot around the United States and in the Philippines both. Um, and so far, the trans community that's come out to see the film, I think really appreciates what they've been seeing because uh, you know, there's certainly there's been a lot of films and probably news coverage around crimes uh, committed, right? Gender-based violence, transphobia, um, violence, uh, you know, uh, towards the trans community. But I think a lot of people appreciate that we are trying to approach and look at what are the root causes of these um, from a more structural, um, structural inequality uh, perspective. So the film right now is in theaters, which is really exciting. It's been, it opened in New York last week. It's here in Los Angeles. It'll be in San Francisco in about two weeks uh, with the rest of the nation to follow. And eventually we'll end up online, I'm sure. And people will get to see it in all the various ways that people see movies now.